Hey, we're going to attempt to turn this 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 tote into a um, a currency feeder. So let's see what we can make it happen. Now, I've been feeding cottonseed to wildlife on the ranch for years, and I was looking for a better design. The, the feeders I have just run out too quickly, and they get abused pretty badly. So I was looking at something like this, but I was concerned that the antlers could get hung up in that uh, upper rack. So trying to find a better design than that, and something that would hold up to these guys. Let's see what I come up with. Excuse me. we got to spread out cotton seed to the sides, because if not, it's just going to ball up all on the inside. So we're going to come up with something real quick. Okay, so so the attempt here is to turn this tote into a feeder, a cottonseed feeder for deer. So when I'm working on a project like this or any other project, I look around the shop and I see what do I have that I don't have to buy. And one thing I had was, was this tent, right? So I had this tent left over from a project we did actually here on the cabin. And so I'm going to use this tent to build a cone wedge inside this this uh this tote cage so that uh, all the all the cotton seed will slide to the sides and make it real easy for the animals to get hold of them. So let's see if we can make this happen. To make my wedge, I need to be kind of tall. So I'm going to have to take two of these and put them together. I'm thinking at about 30 inches. Right here. There you go. Note to self, please don't uh, put the camera in front of the saw when you're cutting steel like this. Boy, it did a number on the old camera lens. Now the blade I have in this saw is specifically designed for cutting steel. You know, I'm using tin here, but you could really use just about anything. Again, I, I just kind of look around the shop and what do I have? And that's what I use. Plywood will work just perfectly fine. I, I just didn't have any plywood, so, so tin it was.
cotton seed's got a lot of oil in it and it's going to protect everything but you know i just felt like uh, adding a coat of paint on there is probably a good idea just for long term talk about using everything i've got just laying around you know about two years ago we replaced the fencing in the backyard and i kind of hang hung on to all the old stuff so i thought what better way to use this now this is four by two uh, fencing, in other words, the, the opening is two inches wide by four inches tall. And for like white-tailed deer and stuff, that's perfectly large enough for their mouths to reach in there and grab some cotton seed and pull it out. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the, the ends off and I'm making some little bit bigger openings in the corner and using those uh, pieces of wire to bend over and uh, attach it uh, to the cage itself. Mom dropped by, brought the dog. Just wanted to visit with you, see me what is going on. Um, kind of wrap this all the way around. Now in those sections along the middle, uh, on each side, I kind of opened it up on the bottom all the way so that uh, a lot of cotton seed will fall out there on the ground for some of the larger animals. They can't kind of fit their mouths through those little holes. But uh, turned out really good. And then across the top, I, I uh, cut that excess piece, you know, strip across and then uh, just use those uh, wires to bend them around the top and hold it in place. And, that's, and I also had to add in some extra ties, you know, use some old galvanized fencing wire to uh, attach it to that cage because they'll push it in and, uh, and just, you know, cause problems for down the road. So that's just going to help that kind of stuff from happening. Had a couple of cans of the old hunter green paint sitting around the shop and uh, thought I'd use that to take the shine off. I'm just going to tell you, I, I, I'm not as strong as I look. These things really aren't that heavy. They're just kind of big and uh, didn't hurt too bad to, to get that in the back of the truck. I know there's a lot of differing opinions out there about cottonseed and whether or not it's the, the best thing for uh, white-tailed deer. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just saying I use it, I've had success with it, and so if you decide that it's something that you would like to, to do also, well, well, here's a fantastic feeder to make that happen. You know, at this time, I only put about 600 pounds in here, but I'm pretty confident it'll hold a thousand pounds with no problem. You're probably asking yourself, what did this guy do with that big white tub, plastic tub sitting inside this cage? So what I did was, is I just set it up on here and I traced it and then cut it out to fit on top of here. You know, you notch the ends there and there so it sits down snug and it doesn't move around any. And then I use these bungee cords right here to hold the lid down. There's just one bungee cord that allows you to open it up. But if you look inside here, I used U-bolts as hinges. So that was real cheap and inexpensive. Holds up really good. That comes back down like that. And then if you come around to the back, I just mounted this little loop right here and uh, what that allows you to do is you put your bungee on it and then you attach your bungee down there and it uh, and then it holds it open while you're filling it full of cotton seed so that if the wind blows it doesn't blow over so there you go and then you come back around here you just pull it down into those notches on each side good to go. Run your bungee cord through here. 
there. Nice and secure. Then you've got this little cap right here, which is kind of cool, because you can open it and you can look to see if you're full or not, and if you need to add cotton seed. <laughs> That's it. In case you're wondering, to make this feeder, it cost me absolutely zero dollars. Not a penny. Everything I used, I had just laying around. The toad itself was given to me by a neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. I appreciate it. I did see him online use totes like that running around $60. So it took a few hours and uh, had a great time doing it. So, uh, so get after it. Make it happen.